All right, hello. First of all, thank you so much for the 1K subscribers. And sorry I haven't posted in a while. I am in the middle of shooting a new pack, went on holiday, went to weddings, worked on freelancing project and was learning to fly FPV. <laughs> Would love to catch up with you. Let me know in the comments what you guys have been up to. So let's talk about the MacBook M1 Air. There's a few reasons why I wanted to get this new M1 chip, but it was mainly for editing. But then of course I straight away downloaded After Effects and I kind of wanted to make a review. So this is going to be kind of like a comparison video to see how much the M1 can handle both a composing heavy project and an Element 3D project. Okay, so firstly let's try this shot of this window burning. In this comp, as you can see, we have quite a few layers and also pre-comps, as well as using some pretty heavy effects such as glow, and working in 32-bit. And for this particular shot, you have to use full res because otherwise the glow doesn't show accurately, which is annoying, but a good test for sure. So let's see how long it takes to preview this shot. Okay, so comparing the two shots in terms of preview time, the M1 took 16 minutes and 21 seconds, and my PC took 13 minutes and 35 seconds. What? That's kind of nuts. But also listen how loud the computer is. And the M1 has like no noise at all. Alright, so now let's move on to rendering. So as you can imagine, rendering was pretty similar to previewing because we previewed in full res. However, the M1 took 17 minutes and 33 seconds, which is just a little longer than the preview time. And my PC took 13 minutes and 28 seconds to render. Again, that's really good for the M1. But you shouldn't worry about rendering too much because if you're on a tight schedule, you can always have the chance to send it to a render farm and have anything render out super quick. Alright, now let's try to load in the Element 3D project file from our previous video. If you haven't seen that video, it will be in our description and also in the corner, so definitely check it out if you want to learn Element 3D. Okay, so the preview is completely messed up. <laughs> It's so bad, it's very messy, the ambient occlusion sometimes disappearing, the leg for some reason jumps ahead and back, it's definitely very not optimized. <laughs> I mean the previewing is really quick, it just doesn't look good. It's somewhat fixable by changing the ambient occlusion from ray trace to SSAO but doing it manually just isn't a very nice process, especially if you don't have any reference in your shot. Having the option ray trace, you should always choose that if you're going for realism. However, as you can see here, that even with the SSAO, there are still glitches in the render. But what about working on the M1 compared to my PC? I don't personally think that it's going to take over my PC, just because my PC is still much better, but it was also a lot more expensive, so... If you have a budget of 1k and you're starting out or you want to use a workstation for when traveling, I would say the M1 is actually pretty perfect for that. But for heavy compositing projects, I'd definitely choose my PC over the M1. Also, should you consider getting the M1 to work with Element 3D projects? Nope, it doesn't work properly at all. And if you want to work with Element 3D primarily, then you just have to look somewhere else. Also, a few more things I want to mention about the M1 is that the battery lasts super long, you got a really nice display to work with even for color grading and the applications also open so quick, it's really really quick. And lastly just a bonus review, I edited this whole video on the M1 using DaVinci Resolve and as DaVinci Resolve is optimized for the M1 chip it was working flawlessly, it was very quick and smooth process to edit this whole video. Even using Film Combo to color grade there was no lagging at all. Alright, lastly, if you're looking to create fire VFX like this shot, then definitely check out visualfxpro.com for our fire packs and check out our tutorial on how to composite this shot. Thanks for watching.